to just do. In general, FERPA says that you need written parental consent in order to share any student PII. Imagine the time it would take out of your day if you had to play Mother May I to get parental consent every single time you wanted to disclose student PII. Especially for you kindergarten teachers. I mean, your safety pin budget would be enormous. Maybe you're telling yourself, oh, I don't share that much student information. But think about it. There are times you might have to share student PII with another teacher, like Ms. Zarbs on the 19th floor, or with a classroom aide, or even with a website. Or let's say that your school uses a student information system like PowerSchool or Aspire to take grades or attendance. In fact, a really good activity is to make a quick list of all the student data that you share with others as part of your job. Go on, take a minute. I'll wait. Actually, you know, just make a quick mental list. I am blowing through recess time. So think of the student information that you share with others. Does FERPA allow you to share this without written parental consent? The short answer is, Yes. The long answer is, it depends. There are several exceptions within FERPA that allow you to share student PII without written parental consent. The main exceptions that allow you, as a teacher, to share student PII without written parental consent are directory information, school official, and studies. Well, I'd love to share more, but I'm busy trying to solve this new math problem. If Sean has 67 apples and he gives 18 to Will and 5 to Skyler. How many does he have left? Carry the one and the answer's 44, huh? How you like them apples, Will? Can't trick me, I'm wicked smart. 